Alrighty, today we are going to talk about lab safety. Hold on to your hats because this is going to be exciting. Okay, some basic general safety rules. The first one is make sure you listen to or read all the instructions before attempting to do anything. I know there's that tendency to just jump right in. We all have that desire, but make sure that you read the instructions and um, before you get started. Wear your safety goggles. I'm going to say this several times in this in this discussion, but wear those safety goggles. Now, first of all, just to help ease your pain with that, they uh, the safety goggles I have in my class, they are really snappy looking. Uh, we got neon colors, and, um, and beyond looking cool, you're going to be safe. So you may end up with those little special lines on your face. That'll indicate to everyone in the school that you, too, have been in a very excellent science class. All right, if there's anything that spills or any accidents occur, notify me, even if it's something small and you think it's just no big deal. Uh, let me know so that I can take care of things appropriately if they need, um, if something needs to be done differently. All right, now let's move on to the next one. Always wash your hands with soap and water. You don't know what's been in the lab or what um, chemicals that equipment has come in contact with. And so just on the safe side, as soon as you're finished with the lab, go ahead and wash your hands with soap and water. And uh, keep your hands away from your face while you're doing the lab work. That goes along with number four, because you don't know what chemicals are on there and you don't want them getting in your eyes or your nose or your mouth. All right, tie back that long hair. You don't want that dragon in your specimen or in chemicals. or um, So make sure you tie that back and roll up your loose sleeves. That goes for anything that's dangling. If you're wearing a tie, uh, loose sleeves, jacket that could, that could dangle in there, uh, jewelry, anything like that. Keep that out of the way so it doesn't drag in your experiment. The location of all the safety equipment, I'm going to show you that in class so that you know its location and you know its operation. Very important step there. All right, number nine, keep your work area uncluttered. Take the, um, go to the, whatever's at the lab station is just what you need for the experiment. Your books and your belongings you can place under the sink, and I'll show you where to put those. But keep it uncluttered. For one, your stuff can get damaged. Um, but it's just way too hard to work with everyone's things all over the place. Okay, notice it says it's suggested you wear glasses. I'm not telling you to go out and buy glasses. If you wear contact lenses, you are going to be wearing safety goggles in the class, but, um, but it's always good to recommend glasses. Don't put anything in your mouth during your lab. Nothing. Nothing goes in your mouth. Even if it looks like it's clean, or we might be working with water, and so you may think, oh, I'm going to drink that out of the beaker. Think again, because that nothing, nothing should ever go in your mouth. You should never eat or drink anything from the lab. And clean it up at the end of the lab period. In fact, you won't even be able to leave class until I've released your table. So that means get it clean, and then I can release you, and you can go on to your next class. Okay, number 13, I'll be real honest. Number 13 is probably one of my biggest and um, strictest rules. Um, never horse around or play practical jokes in the lab. There is no reason that I should hear anyone screaming at any point during the lab. There's no reason to ever run in the lab. There's no reason to ever chase anyone in, in the lab. And there's no reason to ever try to scare anyone with anything in the lab. You can consider this your one and only warning. If any of those things are going on, if you're messing around in the lab, I'm just going to ask you politely to leave. I'm going to send a referral down to the office, and um, the administration will deal with you with the appropriate disciplinary action. You will get a zero on that lab, and you will not be able to make it up. And I have to determine whether or not I'll let you in any of the rest of the lab. So this is very serious. I take safety very seriously. No horsing around. Okay, chipped or cracked glassware. It shouldn't be used. It's weakened, and just show it to me. Just bring it to me, and, um, and I will take care of it, which goes along with broken glassware. Um, once you let me know, I can 
dispose of it in a special glass disposal container instead of just throwing it in the trash trash where it would be hazardous for janitors. All right. Um, just number three is basically just make sure that um, your arm or your hand is supported as you're pouring things. You don't want to just free pour things in the lab. Number four, I'm going to demonstrate to you with a glass stirring rod and pouring the, from the, um, the liquid down the glass stirring rod. Number five is just pretty much a repeat of the glassware, just notify me. And number six, the rubber stopper. We will be using rubber stoppers, but I can't imagine any of the labs that we're doing um, that we're going to be using glass tubing. If for some reason we are, I'll demonstrate to you how to actually insert the glass tubing in there with the glycerin. All right, number seven, do not place hot glassware in water. There's a good chance that it's going to shatter and glass is going to fly everywhere. Okay, there we go with the protective goggles again. Once again, look how good that guy looks. He looks great, and ours are neat. It's going to look even better as you're protecting those eyes. Don't ever mix chemicals. This is a big one. This kind of goes along with don't ever take an experiment any farther than what the instructions tell you to do. If you're interested, though, I love creativity. If you're interested, then just let me know your idea. And in most cases, I'm going to say it's a great idea. Go for it. But, uh, but let me assess whether or not that would be safe. Mixing chemicals sometimes... If they're not supposed to be mixed together, it can become explosive or it can be poisonous. Other uh, fumes can be poisonous. So let's not do that unless you are told to do so. And again, back to the no eating or drinking. Never taste anything in the lab. All right, there's a special way that you want to smell things in the lab. I'll demonstrate this to you in class. But you never directly put your nose over the container and inhale the fumes. You, you do this wafting motion. Acid, acid should be poured into water, not water into acid. It will splatter, it'll react and splatter. Number six, follow all the instructions when disposing your chemicals. If they're getting disposed down the drain, it could be corrosive to the drain or it could contaminate the groundwater. So if there's chemicals that need a, um, special disposal instructions, I will let you know of those. And again, here we see it again, wash your hands thoroughly, soap and water. Electricity, what do we do with that? Well, don't keep the cords laying around so people trip on them. And make sure your hands and your lab area is dry before. Don't, if your hands are wet or anything's wet, do not touch anything electrical. And nothing goes in the electrical outlets except the plug. And speaking of those plugs, Unplug the cords by pulling the plug, not the cord. And make sure everything is unplugged at the end of the lab, period. Let's look at some heating safety. Make sure burners and hot plates are cool before touching them. And when you are handling hot objects, use those tongs or protective gloves that we will have in class. And never reach across an open flame or a burner. Or heating safety. Don't worry about number four. We're already set on that. But when we're looking at the test tubes, make sure that as you're heating them, the open end should be pointed away from people. If something splatters out of there, we don't want it on someone. And um, move that test tube slowly around as uh, to distribute the heat evenly as you're warming it up. Glassware should be thoroughly dry before heated otherwise. There's a good chance break. Don't worry about the platform and the ring. First aid, eyes. If you happen to get something chemical in your eye, flush them immediately, and I will demonstrate this in class. If there's some foreign object lodged in your eye, do not rub it as much as you want to get that out of there. Just wait to get that pulled out so you don't cause more damage. Any spills on your skin, flush with large quantities of water immediately. Don't wait. And there you have it. That's the end of lab safety. Have a marvelous day.